Hey guys, what's up? It's amazing to be here and welcome to the first ever review of Brunch in Dubai. I'm here with Jitin and Nitesh, the creators of the Notorious Brunch. Do you guys have anything to add about what you Hi, guys do? Hi, this is Nitesh. That Hi, is Jitin. He is Turkey. <laughs> As you know, we are the creators of Notorious Brunch. We'd love to see you one of the weeks at our two venues, Joe's Backyard or the Pizza Express. We're not just notorious by name, we're notorious by nature. If you've been in Dubai and if you've been on Instagram, you've probably heard of this brunch which has been taking the entire scene by storm. They were first located at Joe's backyard in Holiday Inn Festival City before moving to Pizza Express Live in Business Bay after the lockdown ended. So let's look at what this brunch has to offer first. They offer three packages, which is the sober package for 159 dirhams, the tipsy package for 199 dirhams, and the premium or the lit package for 299 dirhams. So let's see what each of these packages have to offer. All three packages come with the same food deal, which is unlimited starters and one main course. We'll get to the main course in a little while, but let me quickly tell you what the different drinks and alcohol options are in the brunch. Now they have two packages which include alcohol, the Tipsy package for 199 and the premium package for 299. So take a look at the menu. You can see that the only difference between the Tipsy and the premium package is the fact that instead of house beverages and spirits, you basically get a little more premium spirits and you get Prosecco in addition to the wines. You get draft Peroni instead of just bottled Peroni and you get three cocktails that are normally not offered in the Tipsy section. The three cocktails however have house spirits in them as their base rather than premium spirits which is something that you have to consider before you go in for it. So let's look at the three cocktails to see if they're worth it. They have three cocktails which are vodka based, gin based and whiskey based. I felt that two of the cocktails which is basically the gin and the vodka cocktails are very well made, they were very sweet and honestly when you consume them you don't feel like you're drinking an alcoholic drink, you just feel like you're drinking a sweet sugar syrup of sorts because it tastes really nice. You can have six or seven of them without even realizing you're drinking alcohol. And the whiskey cocktail was even better because it had whiskey, passion fruit and ginger ale and it's a change from the way you normally consume whiskey because most people would have whiskey neat or with some coke in it. So if you're a whiskey lover, you'd love this cocktail. However, I have to reiterate that the spirits used in these cocktails are house spirits and not premium spirits. So let's look at the food that they offer. So in the unlimited starters that they offer, they have three vegetarian dishes out of the four dishes that they serve, which firstly, I think is great because you're catering to the vegetarian audience. And because it's unlimited starters and because they'll be consuming a lot of it, the vegetarians feel like they're getting some value for their money. The first is chicken wings dipped in Arabia tar, which I thought was really great. These are bone chicken wings, but you can continuously chew on them because the taste is absolutely spot on. And I feel like it had the right amount of spice, etc. to calm Complement on the alcohol that I was drinking. So I felt that I had really good snacks while consuming a lot of alcohol. Next, they had the camembert bites, which were essentially just fried cheese balls, which tasted really good because you can't go to one of these places without consuming something with a lot of cheese on it. These camembert bites were something that I feasted on throughout the duration of the brunch. Next, they have dusty fries, which is essentially smoked paprika and chipotle mayo on french fries. Now, personally, I don't like the smoky flavor that much at all. So I didn't eat a lot of it, but the friends of mine who were fans of smoked flavors really like the fries. Those of you who like smoky flavors, this is a starter that you'll thoroughly enjoy because you don't want to get this very often in other places. And finally, my favorite starter was the bruschetta. Although it looked very basic, which is just bruschetta bread with tomatoes, some olive oil and a dash of pesto, it felt like a great fresh palate cleanser because you're having all these things with a lot of flavor in them and you pop in the bruschetta and it pretty much rinse and clean your mouth and give you a very fresh taste before you go on to consume something else. So I really like the bruschetta, even though it was very basic. So let's dive into the main courses. Now they've got three pastas and four pizzas that they offer in the main course. However, you can only choose one pizza or pasta. You can't have both. You can only choose one main course from the seven of them that are available. So within the pastas, there's one vegetarian pasta and two non-vegetarian pastas. The vegetarian pasta is basically a penne pasta based in a mushroom sauce with truffle oil around it. So if you like mushroom sauce and truffle, the flavor, this is a pasta you'll thoroughly enjoy. And I don't think you can go wrong with a vegetarian pasta when it's cooked this well. The second pasta is the piccate diavolo, which is basically penne pasta in a tomato sauce with beef and pepperoni mixed in it along with a bunch of peppers and mozzarella. If you want to have one dish that will surely fill you up, this is the pasta that you go for. The third pasta is the penne contadina, which is a culmination of the first two pastas, which basically has 
pasta and a tomato sauce with mushrooms, chicken and parmesan. I'm a very basic person, I actually prefer chicken over beef. So I really enjoyed this pasta because it had the very popular flavor of chicken parmesan. So here's what you should have. If you're a vegetarian, you really don't have much of a choice when it comes to pasta. You only have the mushroom based sauce, so you have to go for that. If you're a meat lover who wants something absolutely filling, you have to go for the piccante diavolo because that's one dish that will fill you up. If you're someone who doesn't eat beef, you basically have one meat option which is the penne contadina with the chicken parmesan or you have the vegetarian pasta. So let's get into the pizzas that are offered. They have four pizzas, two of which are vegetarian, two of which are non-vegetarian. They have two vegetarian pizzas which is basically a margarita and a cavo fiori. So the cavo fiori pizza is essentially a pizza topped with broccoli, peppers and it actually has a little chili oil which I really like because it adds a little spicy flavor to the entire pizza so I really enjoyed that vegetarian option. The margarita pizza is something that's basic which I think should always just be there. In terms of the meat options that are available the first meat pizza is an American pizza which is essentially you guessed it a pepperoni pizza you can't go wrong with it simple thin crust the second meat pizza which was my favorite was the chicken pizza which had a little bit of an Indian zest to it I really like the fact that it had a very well flavored chicken along with vegetables so that really hit the spot for me three or four of those slices and I was done that was a very filling pizza for me so if you do love meat, I would still recommend that you go for the chicken over the pepperoni pizza because it just has so many more flavors to it. Let's evaluate the brunch on a few other metrics which is mainly cleanliness. I felt that in terms of cleanliness, the staff really prioritized it well because in the smoking area where people sat at tables and smoked, the staff regularly came in and made sure the tables were clean of any residue from previous customers sitting over there to make sure that the next customer that sits there feels like they're sitting in a clean place given this current environment. Now let's talk about safety. In a time like this, that is of paramount importance. These guys were sold out and they were booked to the fullest capacity. The security was always on top of things to make sure that people didn't leave their tables and if they did, that they'd be wearing a mask and second, that they wouldn't congregate in common areas. The fact that they were on top of things and they made sure that they kept safety as their number one priority, they kept enforcing social distancing and they made sure that people wore their masks was excellent. Thirdly, I want to talk about customer satisfaction. The organizers of this brunch were very hands-on when it came to operating the entire brunch and they were very easy to talk to and approach in case you had any issues. When I had an issue with something, I would actually approach them and they would make sure that I was attended to. So as a customer, I felt valued and taken care of. So here are my final thoughts. Firstly, if you're going to go for Notorious Brunch, which I recommend that you do, do get the tipsy package because that is worth your money. Secondly, my recommendation to the team at Notorious and Pizza Express are to perhaps consider expanding the selection of beer available in your lit package so that beer enthusiasts may be inclined to spend that extra 100 dirhams. And next, to people who just want to spend that extra 100 dirhams to get access to better quality alcohol and better options, I would recommend that you perhaps add in the bullfrog or Long Island iced teas or daiquiris or mojitos because we ordered bullfrogs after the brunch was over and we felt that the taste was actually really good so that's something you should seriously consider so that when people look at the difference between tipsy and premium, they find a difference that's actually worth paying that extra 100 dirhams for. Considering that as it stands, you still keep the food constant because whether you take the lit package or the tipsy package, you still only get access to unlimited starters and one main course. And if you're not changing that, I would strongly recommend that you change the cocktail selection and the beer selection. Thank you so much for sticking through. I hope this video was informative. If you feel like I've missed out on something, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll address that in the next video. So take care, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video review.